Today I'm going to show you how you can take more control over your AI videos using the Magic Brush tool in Pixverse. So I'm logged into Pixverse here and essentially Magic Brush is a really powerful tool that allows you to paint over an area and control the direction of its movement. And the way it works is we're going to come down here to Image to Video and we're going to upload an image to use to, do, to create the video from. I have this image which I created using Mid Journey. I'm going to hit Open. And I also want to add that this video is sponsored by Pixverse and there's a link in the description. So now we have our image and at any stage if I want to, I can also just hit X to remove it and add another one. But essentially what I can do is I've got a bunch of settings here including Magic Brush. So I can click on Magic Brush. So we get this little panel here and essentially the way it works is I've got my brush which I can change the size of, make it large or very small. I can paint over an area. I can use the eraser to paint past that. So what I want to use that for is I want to select an object and then I want to draw the direction that object is going to move in. And the way I can also do that is there's also an auto area select. I can select the sky. As you can see, it's green over here or the sea, so the area underneath. And I can sort of move from there. But I'm going to start off, I'm going to basically with my brush tool, select this spaceship. And you'll notice over here on the right, we have multiple brushes. I can also undo, redo, and even reset the area here if I want to. But to sort of get straight to it, I'm gonna click up here, we have select magic brush area. I'm gonna select draw magic brush direction because I want this to be heading in this direction. So I draw an arrow going that way. So it will have the ship moving in that direction. But because we have multiple brushes, I can click on brush two, which is orange, select the sky and notice that it's orange instead of green. So I can actually then use that. I can go back to my brush area. I can even erase some of it. So maybe I decide I want to erase some of this in the background here. I go back to drop brush direction and I've still got brush two selected, but maybe I want that to sort of slowly move in this direction. So I've got two different areas and they're moving two different directions. And just be just to be a little bit more complete, let's select brush three. This time we will select the C, which is blue. And I've already got brush direction here. So I'm actually just going to change that direction slightly to go in this kind of direction. I don't know how natural that's gonna look, but you've got a pretty solid idea. I've selected various areas and given them direction. You can see by the green arrow here and the blue arrow, we need to make sure we have the same arrows, the same color as the object we're trying to move. And that's kind of like a nice visual guide. I click confirm and my magic brush is set. Now I can also add a prompt such as a spaceship flying over a planet. And I can change the camera motion and camera roll or even zoom. Right now we're just gonna leave that as it is and also have motion strength. Now, if you know what seed is, it generally just changes the uh, kind of like the starting point. We don't, not gonna worry too much about changing the seed. Uh, I'm going to leave high quality turned off and we'll try that again later. But for now, I'm going to leave the motion strength at 0.55 and click create. You can see now our video has been made. If I hover over that, we get a little preview. So if I go back to my videos over here on the left, it's right here. I click on it and see it at full screen. Now keep in mind, I can upscale this and we can also use high quality to see what results we get even more so, but that's a pretty nifty effect. Now coming back, this time we're gonna try high quality to see what results we get there. And it seems to have added a little bit more quality to that video. I'm also going to upscale this to see if it looks a bit sharper. And now we have the original and now the upscale, which is taking it from 480p up to 720p. Now let's try something a little bit different. I have this image here of a waterfall, which would require sort of a little bit of a different sort of effect. So I'm gonna click on magic brush and you can see I have my auto area select here. I can select on the water and it's selected all the water, including the waterfall. I'm gonna actually just remove the waterfall portion, grab my magic brush direction and I want that to move in this direction here. And keeping in mind, if I don't like this, I can hit the X. I can even give it a bit of a curve as well. Let's give it a bit of a curve to see what we get. I move on to brush two and select magic brushes. 
area and I'm going to just select this first bit of waterfall and draw a downward arrow there. And then I'm going to come back and just refine that selection a little bit. And I can get really precise with this. I go to brush three and I select the rest of the waterfall here. Draw my brush. And then for brush four, I'm going to select around this waterfall. A bit of an arrow coming out and then grab brush five. So we've been able to take the water flowing down here, down to there, splashing up and then also following a bit of a stream this way. So I'm gonna confirm that. And then I submit that job and I get this nice subtle animation of waterfall where the water is traveling down. You can see in the loop here and the surface water is moving just subtly through that little space. Now I have one final image, which is a little bit more of a sci-fi image again, but this time we've got a few different objects in the scene. I thought this would be an interesting one to play with. So I'm going to go again, I'm going to go to Magic Brush. And you can see we've got a few really easy selections here. I can select the person. So that makes that one pretty easy. I'm going to have them walking forward. I can select, if I go to Brush 2, select the airplane. So we've got a few different airplanes here. I'm going to come back and just erase some of these. Draw the direction. I'm going to go to Brush 3, paint this one here. And we'll go a different direction. We'll have this one coming down. And I'm going to go through, select a few, few of these and go a few different directions to see what we can make happen. So you can see here how we've got the person walk, walking this way. We have this ship moving in this direction, the two orange ships moving in this direction, this ship going down, and they're all going in sort of all different directions. So I'm going to hit confirm and I'm going to give it a quick prompt, which I didn't do in the last one. And again, I'm going to bring that motion strength up a bit, turn on HD quality, and let's see how well it handles those various objects heading in different directions. And check this out. The person is moving, this sphere is turning, and the ships are heading in different directions. So that's a pretty nifty feature, and a little bit of control in AI does go a long way. Now, if you haven't tried out Pixverse before, like I said, they are the sponsor of this video, and there's a link in the description, but I'm also going to pop a video on the screen right now which introduces you to the whole platform with a beginner's tutorial. Otherwise, I want to thank them for sponsoring the video, and thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, have a great day. I hope to see you again next time. Take care.